Welcome, Paul here, and I am still here working on my ship. Uh, I've read all the feedback, and I want to thank everyone for that. Lots of varied feedback, so I'm going to have to sort of... Uh, sort of pick and choose, but the, the most consistent one was to lengthen the sh uh, ship by you know, seven, ten blocks, which I have done. I'll get to this side. Uh, people said that this needs to be uh, lower, but uh, I don't know yet. It depends on how big the ship ends up being, but I can make it. I can certainly make it lower if need be. So there's that. Uh, it was also mentioned to make the ship a little thinner. Now I could do that, but I'm not sure if I want to. To be honest, so I don't know yet. We will see. Now. I'm going to try and make it a bit more varied on the sides, it does look kind of weird. And I do see what people mean, that is pretty ginormous, but it depends on how the rest of the ship is, because if I c continue building this size, then it's going to look the right proportions, so give me a chance. Now, I plan on putting some more detail on this, I've had a quick... Uh, look at the uh, fantastic ship that was built on our Minecraft server so I now have an idea how to do the uh, front part just about so I'm going to give that a, a crack uh, what else is there I'm hoping to get this finished this episode so once we have the front done we're going to get going with the uh, the masts and hopefully add some detail to it and once that's done I might add like a some more buildings around this area, make it look like a port. This is my first boat attempt. So once it's just, once it's done, I'll probably give another go elsewhere. We'll see. Um, since the start of the episode, I just want to get some feedback quickly. Jungle biomes, it's being rumoured, there's not, no confirmation yet as far as I'm aware, that uh, to get the new jungle biomes when the patch is out, you will need to create a new world. But then again, that's been said for every single patch that's come out so I'm taking it with a pinch of salt so you know we'll see or is it a grain of salt one or the other anyway I'm gonna get back to this get this uh, bloody boat done and then we'll work on something else here soon but for now I I would like to get the front of the ship done but I have an idea on how to how I want the deck to look and I need to get rid of some of these logs along the side so I'll probably give that a crack here soon I just gotta decide on what I want to get finished first I mean that looks like it could stand to be slightly longer but I reckon if I tapered the end off there that might look alright we'll see anyway I'm gonna get on get on with it so Hang in there. Okay, here we are. Now, i got to say, this hasn't exactly turned out as I had planned. To be honest, it looks kind of WTF, but... I don't know, it needs a lot of work on it. I mean... <laughs> it's pretty bad, I know. Uh, it's a it's a learning experience, you know. I'm uh, still trying to get it down. Although the shape's there, the shape is there, so that's a good thing. Oops, let me get back up on here. So as you can see, it is kind of um, odd at the present time, but the general shape is there, which is good. So what I'm going to have to do now is what I'll do is I can always come back to this and try and fix it up but I want to continue on with this build and stop worrying about the overall shape I will have a look at this once I have the sails and whatnot up I just want to see how this is going to turn out um, I can't really thin this out now that I've got the rest of the boat made uh, I can certainly lower it though but I'll look at doing that in a moment I wanted to try People say the stairs are too wide, possibly, but I kind of like it. Uh, I kind of like it that wide. But before I make, just in case I thin it out, I want to try something. 
want to have this all the way around. Yes, this is a lot of wood. I will look at uh, changing it up here soon. So, kind of doesn't work when you get to this bit, unless I do this, which also makes for great stairs. Then I suppose I could always exactly need to go across there now that this is here but I can okay I'm gonna need more a little bit more wood so let's get over here go ahead and use all the rest of what I got and I'll hit the tree farm once more all right perfect yeah, the, the end of the ship, I don't know, it needs work, but we will see. There we go. Still not quite sure what's going to happen here. I'll just use the bottom of wood. I'm going to leave that part. I can always come back to it. So I need to take that down there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll soon decide if I want it to be free all the way around or just two. But hopefully it will look alright. Next I'm going to have to go shear a bunch of uh, sheep. So let's just say, of course I do it in an area where I can't properly see. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's just let's just test something out. Get rid of these, and we shall bring in the stairs by one, and we'll just see what the end result is. Now, do I use? Okay, that opens it up a bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and lower this by one. It shouldn't be too bad. In fact, let's just go ahead and drop down. We'll do, we can just bring it straight across there. The only thing that's going to look weird is this, this window is not going to have a frame anymore. At least on the inside, which kind of bothers me, but I can live with it. So we'll t bring all this down. And once this is down, we will uh, lower it by one. It would also take care of the uh, issue with the like that hangover I've got going around the side at the top there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear this roof, and then I'll show you what i got. Okay, what I've done is, let's go up here, I've brought it down one, and around the edges, by two, we've got uh, uh, wooden slabs here, so you can see over the top, and uh, what it means is when you go actually down here into the captain's room, the roof is low, but around the edge, you've got this sort of border which gives you uh, the frame around the back window which is what I liked although it's sticking out quite a bit here I probably don't need it to be honest I was just trying to make it look better on top but in here it doesn't really matter 
In fact, I could just fill this in and just have it one all the way around, but I don't know. I kind of like this. We'll see. I mean, I could always bring it out to here as well. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. There we go, that's a bit better. We'll, uh, let's just go ahead and fill that in. That works. Same effect still when you get up here. So, I want to say that's done for the moment. And I'll see what the feedback's like after this video. Now, oh god, that's just horrible at end. I'm still going to work on this, but I want to get the sails up, so... Before I do that, I'm going to have to shear some sheep. Sadly, I don't have 1.1 uh, just yet, although I expect to have it by the next episode. So sheep won't regrow, regrow wool just yet. I was tempted to use snow, but I'm not sure if it's going to melt here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, start collecting wool. I believe I've got some somewhere. I've got to work out how many sails to have. So yeah, I also got to work out roughly where the middle is. Um, I'm not sure what sort of mast I'm going to have, but we do have, let's say, so this we do have a center of sorts. So I'm thinking it could either be, I mean, it, the mask can either be like that, that thin, or I could go ahead and make a, a super thick mast, which would look like that, but I have a feeling that might be too thick, I'm not sure. We'll see. At the end of the day, it only needs to connect to one, so if I did a single one, if people believe that a thick one like this would look better then let me know then that's what I'll do although what looks better In fact, let me go ahead and make some new tools this is the longest my picks have ever lasted I just haven't needed them on this build which is kind of nice so we can do a quick comparison now I did want to use different textures just to break it up but the tree texture with the John Smith texture pack, pack does look kind of uh, I don't know not sure if it would fit but these are the choices I mean I'm kind of liking this but it's, I've just got it so I'm just using it everywhere so I'm not sure how I feel about that I wonder if the issue I have with this is because it goes it's to set on the same level here. Perhaps if I were to uh, wrong one. Perhaps if I was to bring it up from here and go onwards, I'm not sure yet. I'll give that a look later. I might just use this texture for the moment, and uh, I can always change it. So. I'm going to go ahead and start gathering wool and look at getting the masts up and work out how many I will need. I might revisit this, I'm not sure yet. But, uh, let's just have a quick, uh, quick look at how this is. Yeah, the problem with that there is it goes straight up, but when you get further to the back it's not too bad because it sticks out and it's round, but you can't really see that depending which angle you look. I think the problem with that there though is the point looks right, but I believe it's because I've if I start raising it from that part there it might look better because it looks like it doesn't fit the end of the ship. 
That should be an easy fix. I might give that a go now. But anyway, I'll be back once I have the uh, masts underway, so bear with me. Alright, we're back, and as you can see, we have the sails up. I think it's pretty well done, so let me just give you a quick tour then. It's a bit dark, hopefully it'll go light soon. So, oh, I still need to do the uh, the wheel, the steering wheel of this thing, but uh, I'll hold off on that because I'm not quite sure where it's going to go. So, up here we have, just above the, uh, I don't know anything about ships, so this is above the captain's quarters. Come down here, here's the captain's room. I've taken the stairs in by one, which you've already seen. Inside, not much. I need to add detail, maybe a desk, a bed, a chest for all the, for all the booty to go in. So the uh, mutinous crew cannot uh, get it. And up there we've got a crow's nest. And uh, let me just uh, go down here first. Here we have the inside of the ship. Not really much to it down here, but I don't know, it's all done. I'll probably add in like a, a locked room with uh, some chests and such. Uh, let's head back up here. I stuck uh, some fencing around it to make it look nice. Gotta be careful not to fall off the ship there. <laughs> so these steps. Uh, okay, let's go have a look up to the, uh, the main crow's nest in the center with the main mast. Here we go. As you can see, we have a nice view up here. You can see the sword in the distance, my bridge, the uh, beacon thingy, <laughs> this tower. It's all here, it looks good. So all I've done here is use uh, wooden slabs and uh, wooden blocks, pretty easy. So, oh, and uh, a lot of sheep have been uh, sheared and I had a whole bunch of uh, string from various spiders I've killed over my time, but it just tends to be junk in your inventory when I'm not using it to make a bow. So I had kind of quite a bit of that, and you can use string to make uh, wooden blocks, uh, wooden blocks, uh, wool blocks, which is pretty nice. So gathering all this wool wasn't that much of a slog, but it did drag on. Now this front bit. I'm going to say it's not finished, it's an ongoing project because I'm still trying to get it down but I don't know, this looks better than it has done so far I uh, still may do some more work to it, I'm not sure what yet so there's a possibility that's going to happen let's just uh, hop overboard here and uh, have a look from the outside There we have it. Oh no, creeper, do not do not blow up there. I do not leave my ship sank. So, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can be done better, but again, this was a, a first try, so I will be working on it more as time goes on, or I'll be having to go at, having to go at other ships. So. Uh, you know, I can get practice done. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Let's have a look from the other side. Or from a distance, I should say. This is a pretty big ship. <laughs> I can already tell both those sides aren't even. I'm going to have to revisit that as well. I haven't got a name for it yet. Maybe the HMS fail. Who knows? I oh, know. It's not too bad. Where can I go to see it from a distance? Because it's kind of covered everywhere else. Let's, uh. I wonder if I can see it from the bridge. Give me a moment. Okay, just uh, going across my bridge here. Hey, there we can see it. That's kind of cool. I definitely like how that peeks over the top. <laughs> I haven't seen the uh, 
rails for this texture pack yet. Pretty nice. Wow, that looks really cool from up here. Need to do some about uh, floating dirt though, but I don't know, that looks pretty cool. Just need to add a few extra things here. Whoa. Oh, what's going on here? So I like that. Let's uh, can I see it from another view. I was tempted to dye some wool red and make uh, an English flag, but I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, the next ship I'll do will be a pirate ship, I think. I need to make like a, a pirate cove somewhere. But yeah, that does look pretty nice from a distance at least. So I'm happy with how that turned out then. Awesome. So... Yeah, well, was that a zombie? Middle of nowhere and I'm hearing zombies underwater. Okay, so... Yikes, i got to finish that. Well, there we have it then. My my first ship. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed this episode. I plan on making more of these. This was just like a, a test run, so to speak. But anyway, this was one of the th I've, this has been requested multiple times. I believe a airship has also been requested. Maybe that will be uh, the next boat type project I do. Uh, just trying to think. I will add some more detail to this, such as an anchor and whatnot, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. I think this whole area deserves some sort of, uh, like some sort of town, like a uh, little sea town or whatever. I mean, we've got that tower there, which is kind of random now that I've actually built this ship. However, I can add a bunch of uh, buildings and such in these rocks there. Maybe that tower can be related to this boat somehow if I do a, a bridge going across or whatnot, a gangplank even, because that is what this is missing. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, thank you for watching. This was a uh, one of the projects I'm doing, gearing up to episode 100. Uh, keep sending in ideas for things for me to build. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing next episode, but I'll uh, pick out a suggested idea by then. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and see you next time.